uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my this playlist where i'm covering javascript interview questions and i have already covered a lot of questions about string array stack i mean the common uh, data structure and algorithm then i started talking about uh, stack queue linked list then we moved to a string or array based questions so i have already covered around 40 plus videos and now in the next coming videos like 20 more videos i will be talking about top questions which are asked for string and array okay then primarily we will move to a standard algorithm solutions like uh, some logical problems which are well known or most popular and if you have already done those kind of problems then you can actually uh, get an idea how to do or how to work on those kind of solutions okay so for now uh, let, let's get started and here we are going to write a code to check if array has all the characters unique inside it okay so how can we do this const here we can check sorry check uh, check unique characters okay and here we are taking the input and then we are actually iterating onto it and checking if this array has uh, unique characters or not or it can be just a string as an input okay uh, like if it is a string or if it is an array then you can just convert it into an array equal to string dot split and we can just convert this string to an array now we can just because we just have to return true or false this is what we need to do so simple approach is we run two different loop one is let i is 0 i is less than array dot length okay i plus plus and then another loop we can run for with j that j is now j we can start with i plus 1 okay and j is less than uh, string dot length saying uh, j plus plus just we just need to check the few things like uh, now we can just say uh, we are running array of i if array of i which is equal equal to array of z that means we found a duplicate character we can simply return false from here otherwise we are good we can just return true once this loop is over this is one approach i mean there can be and different ways of doing this thing this is the one way now if we just try to see how we can do this in any other ways we can create a map of an object okay consider that this is a string we are taking as an input okay what we will do is uh, we will just create a map this is an empty object we have so and we can also convert this string into an array okay now what we will do is we will just run, run a loop on to this array so what we are going to do is let i is 0 i is less than array dot length i plus plus and here we will write a condition uh, okay so sorry it is for loop and then here inside this we can just check with the if condition so we have created an object right so inside an object we will see if this array of i is there or object of array of i is greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 that means that character has already appeared while doing the iteration 
okay in that case we, what we can do is return false otherwise that character hasn't appeared even once in that case we can just assign this object to one but next time if the same character is coming up again then this will return false right uh, like in the string array like if this is your input where we consider it's a numbers right so we are creating an object map for one it will put one for two it will put one three four five and then it is six but when the five is coming up again then it will see okay the value is already one or greater than or equal to one so it will return false here otherwise things are good we can return true right so we can actually do a simple test for this we can actually check unique character it's returning a boolean so here what we can do is write a uh, check unique character we can just call our function so it should be true right so this is our first example uh, now you can think of all different possibilities of this simple code in the same code you there might be a question okay remove the return only the duplicate characters return only the unique characters Ret return the count of individual characters right or uh, there might be a string something like this which has been given to you okay do the compression of string like the output should be a3 uh, b3 c1 d2 something like this right or just return the return only the duplicate characters check if the string contains the unique characters check if string contains the duplicate characters return the duplicate characters return the unique characters or remove the duplicate characters and return the clean string so these all may be the possible questions around it okay uh, that's it let's see our next set of questions in the next video